why I look tired and I'm disheveled. Um, the movers are coming in about a half hour to pick up all of this. Um, we're in my roommate's spare room and uh, he is gone, so it is now full of my records and my receiver, my turntable, pretty much everything in my life that matters to me. And um, I'm a little nervous, uh, but I thought I'd do a little vlog of this experience as I begin to move cross country to the Pacific Northwest uh, and let you guys know how it goes. So everything is packed up. As you can see, it's a lot of boxes. Um, it took a lot of time. Uh, I, I still believe the small U-Haul boxes are an awesome vehicle to put records in. Um, at this point, it's really just gonna be important that the movers listen to what I say about not stacking, you know, five boxes on top of my clear audio or things like that. So I'm worrying about the worst case scenarios, but I'm excited about the outcome once it's all done. So we're just waiting for the movers at this point and hopefully it goes smoothly. So today is November 20th and uh, the records are supposed to arrive around December 9th, which is a long time because this is a strange moving scenario that they're doing where last time I moved cross country, it was just a one shot. And this time they're actually loading it into a truck, bringing it to a warehouse, then loading it into a shipping container. And it waits there, I think, until it gets scheduled to go, um, which is why there's such a long turnaround. But yeah, it's just, uh, again, I'm hoping that the people who load it here are the ones that load the container so they understand my instructions, but it's gonna be out of my hands in a bit. So I'm really gonna leave it up to chance. <laughs> This is not all the stuff. There is more. You want to come see? This is the last of the stuff. Um, these aren't records. These are kind of like books and some of my exteriors of my box sets because I split up the box sets. So uh, this is going to be rolling around in there. And I have some framed posters, um, a couple other things. So uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of boxes. And this might be the last time that you guys see Molly on the channel because unfortunately, I'll be leaving this sweet little bean. Uh, but she was a fun guest while she was here. Say bye, Mom. All right, guys, uh, continuing this little makeshift vlog, we are currently in the Phoenix airport. Uh, we wanted to do a little more vlogging over this uh, process, but it has been very stressful. We have 11 bags uh, that are, we are either checked or bringing with us on the plane, and I am currently guarding the obviously imported ones, which are the rare boys. So this right here is this awesome gator bag that I got before um, I left. And I gotta say, this has been doing a great job. I actually took the sleeves off of the rarest discs. So this is most of my rarest records. The absolute rarest ones are already in Portland with Roland. Uh, these are, uh, this is a lot of rare records. And uh, I just have the discs in plastic sleeves and I have them all lined up. So this has been uh, my carry on. I've been protecting this along the way. This right here, uh, this brown box actually is my signed copy of Benaroya Hall. I bubble wrapped the box and put it in a box and in a bag. So it is the closest thing to uh, a bank vault as I can do. And then right here, this pink container, also courtesy of Roland, has more of my rarest records. This is actually uh, a bunch of records with the sleeves. So they are all safe. You know, I don't like having them sideways for too long, but it's been doing all right for, for now. So yeah, uh, waiting for the flight up to Portland. And uh, once we get into the new space, uh, we're gonna check it out. I'm extremely excited to do a little tour and then get it all set up and show you guys. So uh, thanks for sticking around. And I think this is gonna be really exciting for the channel. So this is Roland. Hi. This is the guy that I duped into doing this crazy thing for me. Also yeah. a friend of mine. Traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this yet. So let's go look at Box Mountain, as we've been calling it, and I will admire my carnage firsthand for the first time. Sounds good. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Oh god. This is this is a lot. This is a lot. This is even more than I expected from the pictures. And you already brought a bunch to your car. That's right. This is not all of it. There's there's more. I preloaded some. Is this like an intervention? Is someone gonna pop out of like a corner and be like, Matt, we have to talk to you? Yeah. 
Yeah, this is um, this is quite a bit, but I'm excited to unbox this. This is gonna be a multiple part live stream, and I don't, I've forgotten half this stuff. Some of this I might have oh, pre-ordered nice. a year ago because like of how long pre-orders can be. Right. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we should load up and uh, make this happen. Sounds good. And this is everything loaded up. <laughs> Oh, posters, another obsession. And we got all these. This should be fun to get in the car. I think I can breathe easy. It's a little preview of the future record room. It is not nearly decorated or set up yet, but the movers just came. Behind me are all the records. Downstairs are the turntables. They look good, I opened them up. No damage from the outside that I can tell. Of course, I still have to plug everything in make sure it all works, but I'm feeling pretty confident. I gotta open these up to make sure there's no seam splits. I gotta play a couple random records here and there to see if there's any warps. Overall, this was a pretty good process. It was a couple extra steps compared to the last time. They did have to take the crate of records from New York and repack it into a truck. I was a little nervous because I didn't get to share all of my specific instructions, but it looks like they followed what said top and bottom on the box pretty well. So yeah, I'm now gonna spend the rest of the next few days unpacking and filling up all the Calaxes. And um, I'm looking forward to finally getting back in touch with my record collection in a whole new setting. And this place is awesome. I can't wait to show you guys once everything's all set up. So this was a little moving vlog. Uh, there might be some more that this might be it, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of this process. We're going to be back to the swing of things with new videos very soon. Uh, look forward to my top 10 albums of the year, as well as a massive unboxing live stream. There's about 100 plus mailers in this room waiting to be unboxed and talked about. Looking forward to connecting with you guys on that. And I hope you have a good rest of your year. And next year is going to be a pretty fantastic one for Too Many Records. I don't want to say more than that, but make sure you subscribe and stick around. Good stuff coming your way. Take it easy.